What's up guys? Welcome back. I'm currently recording on a GoPro Hero 6 right now, which has absolutely 110% terrible audio. That's why I sound so muffled. But in today's episode, I'm going to show y'all how we can turn a Hero 5, 6, or 7 into a formidable vlogging beast. The first thing you're going to need to turn your GoPro into a vlogging beast is a GoPro. You got to have a GoPro. Next thing up, you're gonna want this super sweet little housing right here. It comes in a couple different colors. I thought the bluest one was the sweetest. So we're gonna put my camera down and we're gonna put these two together. You gonna help? Okay, yeah, just sit there. Okay, so I was gonna set the camera down but she's trying to eat my microphone. So, uh, 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 stop it. All right, sorry the screen's a little tilted. Okay, stay stay out of there, stay, stay away. Okay, so we got our GoPro, and we're gonna pop our GoPro into the housing. Stop, dude, stop it. So we popped our GoPro into the housing. Okay, so the GoPro's up in there, and then you just kinda take this little screw and you tighten her down boom just like that so now we have our GoPro and its own sweet little aluminum housing and the best part about this is it has a UV filter on here and you do, UV filters don't do much they really they really don't do much but it does add an extra layer of protection to your already protected GoPro so now you have two layers of glass protecting your GoPro on the inside next thing you're gonna need it's a tripod. I recommend these little Joby tripods. And all this stuff will be... This one's a little old and broken. It pops apart. But I'll recommend Joby's. This one's kind of old. I've had this one for a good amount now. And I've tortured the hell out of it. Okay. So now we got our GoPro on a Joby with a housing and a UV filter. What's next, you might ask? Well, that's a solid question. Next, we have our little... Rode microphone. There's other microphones that you most definitely can use, but this one is an awesome product for 50 bucks. And everything I've listed so far will be down in the uh, in the description. So if you want if you want to get one of these housings, you want to get one of these mics, and you don't know exactly how to look for it, it'll be it'll all be down in the in the description. So you can just click on the link and go ahead and get it. So now we got this cord just dangling out of the microphone. So what are we going to do with that? Because there's obviously nowhere else to plug into on the GoPro that would support this kind of dealio. But I'm going to go grab the last piece of this to make this functional. Alright guys, so here it is. Right here is this stupid little thing made by, made by GoPro to make this whole thing possible. It sucks, it's literally like 50 bucks. And without it, you can't hook up any kind of external mic. And I think that's kind of stupid on their part, but it's necessary if you want better audio. So we're gonna switch over and finish this review on this. All right, so here we go. This is the GoPro with the Rode video mic up top. I can't remember the exact version, but it's their $50 microphone um, I got IS turned on image stabilization turned on I'm filming in 1080 right now 60 frames per second so I hope it looks kind of good I usually don't film with IS I think it's kind of just a waste I hate the fact that it crops 10% of your screen but for vlogging purposes I think it would definitely be appreciated where you just kind of like walking around exploring the world be like holy wow Tacos are on sale. Another reason I like this setup as opposed to a DSLR is just the weight. A DSLR with a lens is gonna weigh you a couple pounds. Nice, there's fish in here. I just need to find a deep hole. See, and this is the cool part about GoPros. Say like I don't wanna have my fancy DSLR out here while I'm literally wading through the water looking for somewhere to fish because I'm not like anywhere nice right now, y'all. I'm gonna get lost as crap out here. I know I am. Found a gas can out here in the middle of the woods. I 
I'm kind of like, I, like I said, guys, I'm kind of deep out here, but there is a gas can stuck right there. I'll grab that on my way out. Wow. The water is so clear through here. I think we finally found some juice. Look at it. guys apparently I'm just that trash at fishing I can't even catch a couple of bluegill or little bass or anything but after using this for a little while I think it's pretty cool I definitely think it has is it has its advantages and it has its negatives as well the biggest being the cost to get decent audio out of a GoPro it's just a little bit ridiculous you, it just sucks you can't plug right up to it but I guess in a way I understand they're protecting their technology blah 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 another downside to this whole rig right here it, it loses its water seal it's not waterproof anymore i never trusted gopros to actually be 100 percent waterproof when they say 10 meters 15 meters whatever i i assume that's just to protect you from the elements i i never put my gopro under the water without a dive case but let me know what you guys think about this rig right here is this something you would use is this something you even think i should have spent my money on did i waste my money on this should i have just carried my dslr around out here i appreciate y'all for watching Give me a big ol' thumbs up if you liked it. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Hit that subscribe button. And ultimately in the comments, just let me know. Let me know whatever. If you want to say hi, say hi. I might say hi back. If you want to drop some comments, some critiques, as always, I'm open. But I love each and every one of you. And I will see you next time.